welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. Today I'm going to show you how to goldify things. So for this tutorial we're going to be goldifying this camera. One thing I'll say before we get started, it's a real simple technique but it's just a matter of applying the right amount of iterations of the effect to get it to look the way you want it to. Another thing I'll mention is that Although the goldifying effect is pretty good and it definitely makes your object, whatever it is, look like it's made of gold, it has a tendency to change the lighting in such a way that it may not blend in with your scene properly anymore. So be aware of that, that if you're going to goldify something, that just think about it living possibly in a different environment than what it started with, or you may have to modify your environment for it to still uh, be consistent. So with all that said, the first thing I'm going to do is erase the background from this camera image. And to do that, I'm going to first duplicate, and then I'm going to create a new layer in between that I'm going to fill with, say, white, a solid color. And this way, when I'm using my background eraser on the top one, I can get a better sense of how well I'm actually erasing. And that way, if I'm missing any stray little areas and creating some fuzz or something, then I can make sure to go back over it again, just so I can get a nice clean line. Any, any extra, you know, pixels being colored green is going to kind of be amplified as we do this effect. So the cleaner you can make this erasure, the better. Then we can just use the lasso selection tool in this nice big region, do an invert on the selection, and then delete. Now we have our isolated camera on top of our regular camera background, so we can delete this extra layer. And now with the camera only layer selected, we can start our goldify technique. So the first step is to reduce the saturation. And this may not be very obvious with this camera because it's not very saturated to begin with, but we'll bring it all the way down. Then what we're going to do is duplicate and change the top layer's blend layer to exclusion. And that's gonna give it sort of this muted look. Then we're going to merge down so that those two layers now become one. And then we have to increase the contrast so we're going to go to Levels. And one thing you'll notice um, from what this exclusion did is it really kind of crammed all of the data into the bottom end of the spectrum here, of the luminance spectrum. So really all we're going to do is just bring the right slider in to really kind of bring that top half back in. And then hit OK. Now, that was basically the technique in terms of how we're going to create the effect, but what we're going to do is repeat that same set of steps over and over until we get sort of a shininess look that we like. So now in some cases, after you've done it a few times, you may actually come to the conclusion that you liked how it was in a previous iteration. Like in this case, I feel like it may have gone a little bit too far and there's a little bit too much grain. So what I can do is just undo to get back to the last level of shininess that I had achieved. So if I were to take this as my shininess reference, then the next thing I want to do is go to Adjust Hue Saturation Colorize. And the settings I liked were 33 and 116, but you can just as well experiment with what produces a kind of goldish color that you like. Hit OK. And then Rather than using saturation, um, we, I found that using vibrancy as the way to enhance that color still preserves more of a goldish kind of effect. So here you can see I've bumped it way up to 87 and hit OK. And that's it. There's our goldified looking camera. Uh, if we compare it sort of to the original, like I said, you can see the lighting is quite different you know, in terms of how it looks in the scene. So again, a lot of it's going to really depend on just what you're trying to do. And even another example too, you can see somewhere the eraser didn't quite get there. It got amplified by the, all these exclusions and level adjustments and a few places here. So those can easily be cleaned up with a uh, eraser uh, after the fact. 
Um, but I've tried this on a number of different images and it seems to work pretty well. It could be good for things like creating trophies or all just really cool portrait effects, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. And as you saw, it's a pretty straightforward technique in terms of just the operations you're doing on layers and in uh, blending and then applying regular effects. I created a script that automates this whole process and even allows you to choose the strength as a number and it'll iterate that one section that I mentioned um, however many times you want. So instead of having to experiment with it yourself, manually doing all that stuff, the script can just run. If you don't like it, you can undo and then run the script again with a different number until you get an effect that you like. That script, although not required to do this technique, um, will be available to folks who become patrons on my Patreon page. So that's it for me. Just a quick capability of adding an effect of goldifying things. It's pretty cool and it looks pretty good. And I hope you guys find some pretty creative ways of using it. As always, if you have any questions or would like to suggest content, feel free to leave a comment. If you'd like updates on new material, feel free to subscribe. And if you'd like to support me and my channel, uh, check out the Patreon page at the link shown on the TV. And I'll see you guys next time.